Bob, I'm a little sad that you changed clothes because that was going to be my first joke. Oh. What the fuck are you wearing? <laughs> you look like a Chippendale stripper in Colonial Williamsburg. <laughs> and that didn't even explain the fucking shoes. <laughs> thank you, Bob, for having me, by the way. Uh, thank you guys for coming out. Woo! Woo! This is great. Thank you so much. Um, my name's Ashley. I joined a kickball league recently. Yes, an adult kickball league. Um, what I didn't know is in Burlington, there's actually two kickball leagues. There's the like, hey, let's drink beer and eat pulled pork in the park league. And then there's the like, hey, who's up to bat? Or who's up to kick? You? All right, this is what I want you to do. You see that girl out there? The one who always drops the ball? Okay, yeah. All right, her team is facing the sun. She's not wearing sunglasses. This is what I want, I want you to kick it right to her. I want you to kick it right to Butterfingers out there. Do you hear me, Salter? <laughs> that is the league that I joined. <laughs> Unbeknownst to me. And it, it was fun at first because we won our first game. You know, we're all ecstatic and we did that in like two, three, whatever, eight. I guess, I guess it's even numbers. Um, who do we appreciate cheer, you know? Which I don't understand because why would you thank the loser? That just seems like a shitty thing to do to me. Um, like you wouldn't Google the person who applied for your job and just show up at their house and be like, hey, thanks for not getting that job. You have a good one now. You know, you wouldn't do that. So we won our first game, but we've been on this losing streak since then, and it was, it's been off, and, and like our second game we lost, and it wasn't just a loss, it was a classic loss, okay? We're down bottom of the fifth, by the way, there's only five innings in kickball. That I don't get either, because I'm like, you can't even commit to a real ball. Like, you can't commit to nine innings, really? So we're down bottom of the fifth, three to two, bases are loaded, guess who's up to kick? This one. So I'm thinking like, okay, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna win this game for us, right? And I kick it and I nail it straight out to Butterfingers. You thought I was joking about that earlier. Um, and I hear behind me, dead ball! And I was like, wait, what? We have refs? This is kickball, what? This is a game reserved for second graders. Are you kidding me? But no, and, and I didn't know about this rule where you have to wait for the ball to cross the plate before you can kick it. Yeah, I got the I got the 60 page PDF with the rules in my email. Okay, but I haven't got time for that. I got plenty of dicking around on the internet to do while I'm at work. <laughs> Too many cat memes and not enough time. If you don't know what a cat meme is, good for you. Okay, <laughs> please continue on with your meaningful life, doing meaningful things. Um, so I go back. I'm like, all right, I'm gonna kick it again. I do it again, and I nail it out to Butterfingers. Except this time, the pitcher leaps up out of nowhere, catches the ball, I'm out, game's over. Meanwhile, I look over at my teammates, and they're all looking at me like I'm Charlie Brown, and I just came back from the lot with that shitty excuse for a Christmas tree. You know, just like, doo 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 and the just needles are dropping behind me, doo doo. Again, it's fucking kickball! Like, this is a game reserved for second graders, okay? Like, I expect Clifford the Big Red Dog to just bound onto the field at any moment. If you don't know who Clifford the Big Red Dog is, well, I feel sorry for you, because that was an excellent children's book series. Okay. Also, it's like, we're, we're adults on a field kicking around a large rubber ball filled with air. You have to try to get injured at this game, okay? So, you know, I, I'm like... As a comedian, I'm like, I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna break the tension by telling a joke, you know? And I see the captain and his girl, like, walking off the field, and I run up to them, and I'm like, hey, I feel like I lost the game for us. But I do it in this, like, weird, Rodney Dangerfield voice that I've never done before. I don't know where the fuck I came from. So I go up, and I'm like, I feel like I lost the game. And I shit you not, the woman turns to me slowly, and she's like, yeah. Yeah, you did. <laughs> So then I was like, well, you know, at least she's being honest because no one else would say anything. Like, you know, crickets on the field. So I was like, thank you. Thank you so much for being honest with me. Uh, now I'm not going to feel so bad later when I'm telling my friends this story and I call you a stupid cunt. <laughs> or when I say it on stage because that's what happens when you fuck with a comedian. <laughs> uh, I'm gay, in case you haven't noticed the... Uh, Lesbians do wear Converse, but they're typically not pink with the bling on it, so I just wanted to tell you guys that. This is a great crowd. Um, awesome. <laughs> Thank you, Summer, for laughing. Uh, 
So, um, I was, uh, it's funny because also I was thinking about how women fight with each other, you know? We do this thing where we're also kind of protecting each other as we fight, you know, like, oh, you're calling me a cunt? You're calling me, you're calling me a cunt? Oh, wait, you're about to lose your earring. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, it's actually the other ear. Well, let me just get it for you. <laughs> so I was sleeping with an older woman recently, and, uh, you know, it, it, 15 years, that's not that much, you know, but it bothered her more than it bothered me. And all her friends were giving her shit about it, and I was like, listen, everyone tells me that I have an old soul, so just tell them you're sleeping with someone your own age who happens to have a body of a 35-year-old. That's, you know, problem solved, <laughs> really. I do a lot of house sitting, by the way, and if anyone needs a re responsible, mature adult. Um, <laughs> that's me. <laughs> But I, I had to, it started because I had these friends who like, they needed a house sitter, but they couldn't afford, you know, they, they're actually, they actually keep a budget, <laughs> unlike me. So I was like, listen, let's just barter. This is before I had a car. I was like, you give me your car for the weekend. I get to hang out with your dogs, you know? Uh, I get to hang out in a space larger than 680 square feet. So it's win-win, really. And so as a, as a token of their appreciation, they gave me a nice bottle of bourbon because I know I like some, you know, good bourbon. But then all of a sudden, I became known all over Chittenden County as that free house sitter. You know, they just told all of their friends, you know, like, yeah, you don't, you don't have to pay her. Just, you know, just give her a nice bottle of booze and the keys to your car. <laughs> Which, to me, doesn't sound like someone you would trust with your home and your pets. <laughs> But whatever. I had a second agenda because, let's face it, dog parks are full of lesbians, okay? <laughs> and you can always tell a lesbian by her dog. It's always some, like, pit bull boxer mix, you know, anything just short and stocky that looks like it's about to hump your leg. <laughs> and it will. Um, so I take, I take one of the dogs is, like, this gorgeous dog. Like, this gorgeous dog of all the gorgeous dog breeds in the world, you know? she's just And, and she's like... Two, so she still has that puppy energy, so she just bounds around the dog park. So all the women are like, oh my god, she's so adorable, what's her name? And I'm like, what's your name? <laughs> yeah, it never works. Um, just so you know. So, but now I'm like, dogs are easy, you know? Like, you give them food, you give them plenty of exercise, a treat, you're like, sit, okay, play dead, <laughs> be dead, you know, whatever, they'll do it. Um, so, <laughs> awesome. <laughs> You guys are good on the uptake. <laughs> All right. So dogs are easy. Cats, on the other hand, cats are assholes. Okay. They are. Anybody have, here have cats? Okay, three. Right. All right. Four. Okay, good. In the back. I'm actually house sitting for my vet at the moment. She has two cats, and I should have known. I should have known by their names, Scoop and Fury. Whoa. I'm an English major. That should have been a harbinger. That means warning. Um, for disaster. Scoop is, lives up by his namesake. He will just scoop out your food as your, you know, like your mid utensil, like going in and he's just already eaten all of it like a backhoe, you know, and he's already like got the leg up, just licking between his toes, like, what, did you want that? I'm sorry, I didn't, I didn't know. Uh, Fury, on the other hand, well, you know, the other night, I found a snake in the living room, a dead snake. These are indoor cats. I'm like, where the fuck did you get a So, you know, they're like playing with it, and at first I thought it was a shoestring, and I was like, oh, that's a door, oh no, that's got a head on it, no. <laughs> So uh, they all of a sudden get distracted by something else and they run into the other room and I'm like, all right, this is my chance. And I pick it up by the tail and I toss it out the room. In that 10 seconds, I turn around and Fury's got a mouse shoved three-fourths of the way into his mouth. And like all I could see was like a tail and two legs and one of them's like doing that kicking, like, oh my God, about, you know, like the nerve damage is going in, you know? So, so I start walking toward Fury, and by the way, he's got this growl, okay, and I don't, it's not like a dog growl, it's like a mix between a wolverine and a bear and some prehistoric animal we haven't discovered yet. <laughs> so I start walking toward Fury, and he does this like, <laughs> all of that with a mouse in his mouth. <laughs> 
and I'm like, okay, fucking, just eat it. I don't care, just fucking eat it, you know? And he swallows the thing whole like a python with a deer. I swear to God, I've never seen anything like it. Like, I can see the muscles in his neck just crunching the bones of this poor mouse. And I'm just like, all right, dude, I, you, you take it. Like, I don't care, you know, because cats are assholes. <laughs> I don't know if I have anything else. Bob, put on your colonial hat again, because that was just fucking hilarious. My name's actually Watson, guys. Thank you for being real and being here.